No matter what I'm doing, I hate losing. Even if it's a kick around when you sit in the garden, it's very rarely I'll let them win. I always wanted to win, whether I was playing Gaelic, soccer, even sports day in school. Grown up, and would have had a lot of male role models, Dwight York's, Eric Cantor's, Roy Keane's as well. My dad then brought me to a match and we went in to watch the Irish women's team and Olivia O'Toole banged in a few goals and that was the moment I suppose I realised I could live the dream of playing for Ireland. I've been playing since I was 16. When you go into the team at, at such a young age, there's not really any expectations on you. As you maybe get older, you become more experienced. You obviously have a lot more responsibility as well to help the players around you and it's not just, just about your own performance. Kind of person that's either all in or all out and I decided to, to take a step back and, and just let the younger players come through and family commitments, life commitments you, you put on hold and I don't really regret ever taking that break but I was really grateful obviously for the opportunity to go back in and, and get involved with the team and have more belief in the team. Every time I go out to play now, it's obviously a really big honour to wear the jersey and just appreciate every moment because it's about grabbing them opportunities and having no regrets. 2017 was a turning point in the hope that we'd come to an arrangement with the FEI to improve standards. We were at a stage where we felt like we're underachieving. And for me, as a player, and I think this is the view of the team, we thought we just deserve equal opportunities. Bring women's football and women's sport, I suppose, to, to stand up and be noticed. Collectively, we stood up together and, and took that stance at Liberty Hall. And don't think the team have looked back since and, and probably a historic step in, in women's football now. What we've achieved now with parity with the men is amazing, I think. I believe in myself that every time you go out to play that I'm going to get the best out of myself and I'm not going to ever leave anything on the pitch and have more belief in the team now than, than we've ever had in the past that, that we can do something special and qualify for the World Cup. While you're still playing, it's always really hard to, to look back. But you probably don't realise what maybe you have achieved in, in the past until uh, I retire again. I probably won't really appreciate my career.